I'm in a... I'm in a... Oh my god. Blizzard. I need you. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. That should be nicer. We're playing against Snoop Dong. Snoop Dong. He had ill attempts. Did he though? But even, even if there's like a 10% chance that he was... Genuine. Shouldn't I not BM? It's like what Gandhi said. An eye for an eye. It's a bad paladin card. But also makes the whole world blind. He yeah, actually did say that. <laughs> yeah, brush up on my Gandhi. Polymorph is good against Taunt Druid. <laughs> Tar Creeper, eh? You just dropped the Acolyte here. <laughs> Yeah, because we can polymorph and get a free draw off it. Unless he plays the second top. We get Norish Ramp, I guess. Wild Growth Oaken Summons Norish Ramp is one of the most obnoxious opener. Obnoxious. But again, we have inherent advantage due to polymorph messing up his witching hour. We'll see though. That's fine. No, oh, he thought it was counter spell. Or no. Damn, wild growth and Norse. It hurts, chat. I'll be honest, it hurts a little bit. If I should do this, should have done this on his ultimate manifestation turn. Fine, things are fine, just don't have a way to oh, oh god. This guy's hand is nuts. You guys seen nuts before? This is what it is. You could technically overdraw me by one. Man, that's disgusting. Maybe I can hit Doomsayer at some point. Oh, that was a whole boatload of nothing. Dragon fur into Blizzard. Maybe. 
At this point, I'm pretty desperate. Ameno. Ameno. Oh my god. Blizzard. I need you. Look, as long as it's not my three cost spells, I'm pretty happy. Oh, why? I got Code of Code and two blizzards. Ah, <sighs> so frustrating. So frustrating. Mm, so much freeze effects too, and how do I? There we go. There we go. All right, cone of code doesn't do it. Let's just put it here. And that is double swipe hero power, but maybe he won't be that lucky and have everything. Mm. Don't mill my blizzard. Oh, okay, don't mill my second dragon. Oh my god, I'm milling everything but my combo <laughs> Wow. But there's a chance, there's a will, and there's a way, chat. And my god. Do we have a chance? Okay, here's my fear about Doomsayer. He just drops Hadronox. So I actually don't want to play Doomsayer here. Come dance to my song. Reality woven. I actually just want to avoid playing Doomsday. I need to keep my freeze effects, I feel. Because he can't kill his own Hadronox right now. Which means his threats are super limited. He's just playing like... Crap-ass taunts. I can maybe drop the Doomsday on the turn I want to Simulacrum. And then if he goes Hadronox, we can still draw a Frost Nova. And then Frost Nova, Simulacrum, Ley Line. There's a line, like, possible here to win the game. When you account for two swipes and a branching path. We don't really mind taking damage here because we have a barrier that needs to get popped anyway. And he has to kill the one two. He doubles Spellstone as well. So, you know. Yeah. Let's gain this lock up. Let's see what I get. Okay, that was thick. Here's the problem. If I Doomsayer Simulacrum Freeze, and he drops Hadronox, I need to top that Frost Nova, which is a 50-50. Now some other problems. If I just kill the 4-6 this turn and chill, the next turn if I draw Simulacrum, I'm actually a little bit worried about dying to fatigue. I don't think it'll matter though. What if... I miss Ice Block. Oh, ice Block was so broken. It's just a free turn. But hey, you want a free turn, buddy? 
He, why didn't you play that Lich King last stream? That seemed like it would be good. Snoop Dong, as they call you. He should not have done that. Because he gives up swipe, swipe, death coil lethal. So he just guarantees the Frost Nova, right? Because if we did this last turn and he dropped Hadronox, well, I can't freeze seven minions, right? With the Cone of Code, and I would have lost. By taking the play that gives us one extra turn, we enable Frost Nova. Guaranteed, we still have enough, just enough mana to play Simulac and Frost Nova and Leyline on the same turn. Next turn we just kill. We assume worst case scenario, which was what it was. Frost Nova being our last card. And we get rewarded. I think this was the only right play to be honest. I don't think there was any case where I didn't pyroblast the primordial drake on 10. OTK decks is our speciality. There's the Hadronaut. Ain't no thing. We got super lucky. He milled five cards and it didn't hit a single combo piece. So sometimes milling, card, milling cards isn't, you know, good. Because he actually helped me get to my combo pieces way faster. And he gave up the ability to naturalize his own Hadronauts. Snoop Dogg. Oops, thank you, and I concede. Uh -huh. I don't think he's sniping though, because he wouldn't have popped my barrier if he knew what secret it was. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He is playing Tom Druid, so I'm not going to give him the free one. So you got very lucky with naturalized mill. Hey, lights out.